Welcome back to what is 100% the toughest finish to a Zwift Racing League season we have ever had. It's a team time trial in Watopia on the out and back again route. Over 42 kilometers, 333 meters of elevation. Let's get in to this week's recon. So yes, although this is the final recon in the Zwift Racing League for season 23-24, I am coming back for a few more recons for the Zwift Games, which is almost upon us. And of course, we have a few new routes to cover. I am also excited to tell you I'm heading to LA in March during the Zwift Games, and we'll be recording a special podcast with co-host Christopher Schwenker, to, so keep an eye out for that. Okay, before we get on course for this recon, we have some big news to announce. You remember at the start of this round, I announced we're running the Design a Jersey competition, and I'm pleased to say we've had some amazing designs sent in, and it's now your turn to get involved again and vote on one of those amazing designs. Down in the description, you're gonna find a link to the voting pages, and on that page, you'll also find a brief description of those designs. As mentioned, the overall winner will not only get that Zwift bundle of goodies, but we will actually make that jersey for the winner and possibly make it available for the community to purchase through the Level Velo web store. A massive thank you to all that took the time to enter your design and add your story behind those designs. So go and check that out. Your votes absolutely count for this one. I know this is a lot of thank yous. However, this is what I love about this community. The support you guys give is really inspiring. Numerous community members have helped with the recons over this season. James Barnes, David Squirrel, Nancy Blair Noel, and Caroline Sale, just to name a few, aka Bam Bam that is of course. I really appreciate your help with the video clips and the additional recon note information, just to make sure those notes are absolutely perfecto. All right, let's get going with the bike choice. First of all, out and out aero TT bike is the choice. So full aero wheels and aero frame. Yes, there are some climbs, which we will unpack in a second, but there are also a lot of flat and rolling roads. So aero is the choice for me on this one. Right now we're doing it a little differently and I'm going to focus on those key areas before we run through the whole route in the video. At the end of the video, the whole route will play through along with the recon notes. And here are those recon notes. As mentioned, it's a long one at 42 kilometers and with some notable sections to this route which will really test the team's strength, endurance, and most importantly, the team's teamwork. Okay, so let's take a look now at those key sections. The first 9.9 .9 kilometers is all in the desert. Pan flat, this is the time to work those pace lines, get up to speed quickly and share the workload. At kilometer 9.9, .9, we hit the small climb out of Saddle Springs. Keep you cool. Don't be afraid to punch the numbers a little here to keep the speed high. You will get some recovery on the other side of this rise, but keep all riders together. We then head towards the big climb up the volcano, which starts at kilometer 22.2. This climb is in a couple of stages with some flat segments in the middle, but it's the final one kilometer section, which is really pitchy and tough. Again, Keep a solid pace, let all riders roll through as required, ensuring to keep four to five riders all together on this climb. For the final kick to the banner on this climb, I would push hard to maximize speed, and if needed, regroup on the flat loop at the top on that summit there. Make sure you have all riders together though before you start the descent. I say push hard over the top because you're going to be able to soft pedal on the descent and make use of that recovery. So yes, on the descent, soft pedal and recover. But as you get to the bottom, remember there are some sections where it flattens. So again, push hard through these sections and recover when it starts to descend again. All these sections are highlighted on the recon notes. Once you have descended the volcano, it's then some flat to draggy roads back towards the villas before approaching the final climb of the hilly KQOM reverse. 
You know the one where you approach those large statues and it pitches up to about 10% with that hard right turn. It's then a draggy moderate climb over the rest of the KQOM. This section is around about two and a half kilometers. Again, push together, and once you're over that pitchy section, you can get back into those rotations before recovering on the descent. So on the descent, again, of that KQOM soft pedal, it's then back towards the desert for a final four kilometer flat push to empty the tank to that finish line in the desert. I think then once in the desert, having a rider to take a final suicide pull in the desert is all fine if you have the required numbers of riders when you cross the finish line. So for me, those are the main sections to watch and how to tackle them. It's gonna be a hard tactical TT, skill and strength is gonna play a big part here. Right, now I'm gonna play the full course and leave the recon notes on the screen for the duration. Don't forget, as always, to like, leave your comments down below. Tell me about this course, the season, how has it gone for you? Subscribe to the channel if you don't do so already. Don't forget to go and vote on those jersey designs. And I'll see you soon for more Zwift Games Recons.